Today we're checking out the Game Awards 2023. Let's dive right on in. Yo, let's go. This is gonna be good. Okay, mm -hmm. recording. Let's go. Oh, uh, we got another yeah, countdown. So I guess the real world will start at eight. At yeah, this is the pre. I mean, the first holiday, half an hour is the pre-show anyway. 2023 Game Awards, and just like New Year's uh, Eve, yes, our I Game love her. Awards She's the is as full of excitement name. and celebration as the big event. Tonight, the Game Awards will something. celebrate the best in gaming from the past year, and we've got more than a dozen new game announcements. Plus, the old gods of Asgard are here from Alan Wake 2. They take the stage for the first time ever. It is truly magical here, live at the Peacock Theater for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and fans and getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Oh, already oh. getting started. It comes from a creator who has already claimed Game of the Year in the past here at TGA, but this time we're going back to the title that started it all for him a decade ago. Here's the first ever look at a beautiful remake of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, originally created by director Joseph Ferris. Oh, look at those ogres. Oh. Yeah, it definitely looks like a some sort of it takes two or some type of stuff like that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I like the visuals though, they look very good. premiere of brothers we have the award for best family game these are Thanks for us. families together or tear them apart oh my god i hope this is cause drama bro and the nominees are yo it better Disney be illusion Mar island either sonic or, sonic or mario sonic superstar oh it might be There's mario because i hear those cheers Super Mario yeah! Wonder. Mario Wonder! <laughs> Doug Bowser! Of course he's here. He's always here. Thank you so much for this award. This is shared with all the teams at Nintendo. Uh, uh, I feel like Superstar is what's the people hate it. Yo, Mario Wonder was awesome. Really tried to develop a game I loved Wonder. 100% played the game, by the way. Go hard. look at my playthrough, it's me, awesome. Personal experiences, <laughs> nothing brings a family together oh more goodness. than trying to rescue an, an empire, a, a kingdom in distress <laughs> from the evil likes of Bowser. Whether you're playing, whether you're playing as <laughs> I get the joke. Mario, um, oh Peach, my God. Yoshi, or an Abbott, this game goes to everyone that created such a wonderful experience. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> she, Doug was about to give her his mic. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah. And now I have a little treat for all of you. Three world premieres in a row. Oh! First, first mm. up is the next mm. game from Daniel Mullins, the creator of the TGA nominated independent game, Inscription. Inscription.
Hmm. What the? This is a very interesting game. There's USBs, there's crossbows, there's not crossbows, but bows in general. Uh, Bruh, I thought this could be some MLP. Pony Island Panda Circus. Oh, it was glitching. 25, 26, 25, 26. Netflix. Interview number three. It's crazy that Netflix can make games. I thought they were a movie production. All ads on Switch as well. Nice. Rise of the Golden Idol. One last one. Uh, there's a zombie behind you. <laughs> Whatever it is. Finji. Sweet baby. More like fire baby, because that logo's on fire. Teddy. And June. June and Teddy. Okay. This is old Turia told you about. Didn't the kid go missing there? Twenty twenty five. I love yeah, it. It's like life is strange. Days, like, but the monsters I fought weren't nearly as big as that. Nah. You kids these days with your giant monsters and your social media. Nah. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across fifty plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating YouTube better. creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag YouTube better. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, but there is plenty more opening act after a very important message. Don't skip this cutscene, people. The journey ended here, a place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. Yet generations later, this world remains untamed. Our hmm? reunion was foretold. Definitely Honkai is Is that Honkai? It's Honkai. I'm here for you now. It could be Honkai or It's definitely an anime game. Oh yeah, it is this is so so Honkai. No, that's a new mobile game. Hmm. A danger laden, a world full of uncertainty. Destroy. 
slap the person. Oh, so you can, yeah, choose stuff. All right. You are the chosen one. Matchless Kung Fu, that's what it's called. Rogue trader has fallen. Now I must take up their mantle to restore the dynasty to its former glory. To reclaim what humanity has lost. To venture forth into darkness and bring the light of the Emperor to the uncharted void. Rogue Trader. MetaQuest. Wait, you're Connor Kenway. Good thing for you that I am here then. Today, you are to see a traitor to the crown. Hanged by the neck. For his crime, the penalty is death. What? Oh. What in the Assassin's Creed? Where do I start? Day on the canals with my good friend Ezio. Ezio, oh yeah, it is Assassin's Creed, yeah. In the end, mm -hmm. the Templars will succeed. It's like first, yeah, first person Assassin's Creed. Breathtaking, you're breathtaking. Assassin's Creed Nexus VR. Welcome back to the 2023 Game Awards opening act. I'm still Sydney Goodman here with another award. Hi, still this Sydney time for Goodman. Innovation and accessibility. The gaming community is massive, but honestly, it should be even bigger. And these nominees are pushing gaming beyond its current limits. Their teams have created software and hardware that make it possible for people of all abilities to experience the medium of gaming with accessible features and technology that get us all one step closer to a seamless play for everyone. These nominees are doing the work, and they are Diablo 4, Forza Motorsport, Hi-Fi Rush, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Mortal oh. Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. And the game award goes to. All right. Forza Motorsport. Okay. All right. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck plays Forza? Thank you so much uh, for this. Uh, this <sighs> Damn Forza. Introduced several years ago, I think we've seen a dramatic I'm shift sorry, in the whole industry towards making games more and more accessible. And with this list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point. I, I think we've made the most successful racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. But really, the real winners here are the players who have so many great games to play. It's a heavy one, I know. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort, championing for accessibility and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team, and our accessibility leadership team. And last but last but least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do. So thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. 
Here at the Game Awards, we believe strongly in accessibility and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. And our next developer, The Odd Gentleman, believe that by making Odd Gentleman. their games and their company accessible and inclusive, they can develop new types of gameplay with stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the okay. following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. The Odd Gentleman. Damn confetti! Oh, this game's gonna be cool. Sign language. All the sign language. Oh, she's stuck in a book. We've turned into a Disney musical, everyone! A Disney S musical video game. Yeah, it is giving me Disney vibes. Harmonium musical. Netflix, Netflix and, and Game Pass. Netflix Game Pass. Honestly, year. I don't know how much better gaming can get. What happens past a golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Ah. Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. Ah. And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. The nominees for best esports athlete are Faker, Zaiwu, Demon One, Hydra, Ruler, and Imperial Howe. And the game award goes to Faker. Baker! Da, na, 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 na. I'm just host, kidding. The nominees are Potter, Zonic, Gunba, Ecstasy, and Homie. Homie! The You're my two. homie! Potter! <laughs> You're an esports, Harry! 2023 League of Legends World Championship. Blast TV Paris Major 2023. Evo 2023. The Probably Evo. Dota 2 Championships 2023. It's and either Evo or League, League of Legends. Champions 2023. Because League won like another two. year or whatever. Yeah. 2023 League of Legends World Championship. All right. That's okay. The best esports game. The nominees are Counter Strike 2, Dota 2, League of Legends, PUBG Mobile, and. It's probably going to be. All right. And the game award. What's goes it going to be? Valorant. What? And finally, huh? the nominees for best esports team are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, and Vitality. Team Vitality. 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 And the game award goes to JD. JD Gaming. Huge congratulations, everyone. I love esports. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my father and his father before him. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid 1800s. <laughs> the Goodman I know would only want his house payment. Time for another two world premieres. <laughs> First up is the latest game from a team that won at the Game Awards back in 2017. So, <gasps> oh, Nintendo! Breath of the Wild. This is Windblown. Windblown. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Cause. Because 2017 game of the year was Breath of the Wild, so I, th I thought it was Nintendo for a second, but it's not. It's something else. Why did I say that? Oh, oh my god. Dead cells. Oh, they're alive. Oh! Whoa! Oh, 
Holy shit, dude. Let the energy control you! Wind blown. Oh, it's, oh yeah, PC game, yeah. Va and it's from Valve. Wait, that's from Valve. Yeah. Yeah, then that is nothing like the Valve I'm used to. What the hell? in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming from him in 2024. Special shout out to Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also throwing a massive Game Awards viewing party over at Samsung's New York City flagship location with typical gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at two places at once, Wait, but Chica. the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the Fin experimental physics lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Hor, Let's hor, check out what hor, Samsung hor, is coming hor, out hor, with. Hor, 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 hor. Persona 3! Wait! Wait a... Wait a minute! Persona 3, baby! Persona! Let's begin! Sewing is my life! Last one! Go for it! Hmm. Wait, is this a Persona 3 remake? It looks new! Wait, wait. That's the dark hour. A time oh, wow. between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free. Damn. This, this definitely does, yeah. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. Persona! Oh. Yo! Come on! Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. Soon, the end will come. We are not giving up, no matter how long it takes. Is all again that has that Joker? This is what it means. No, this is Persona 3, not 5. Reload! Yeah, it is a remake! Yeah, the Persona 3 remake. <laughs> February 2nd, 2024. Huh? Play Persona today. See, there's your Joker, and you. Yes, I was hoping for a new Persona. A new Persona game, that is. I still want to be Sydney. 
But enough about me. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. It's going to be an epic event just like this next world premiere. It's the product of a surprise team up between two nominated games tonight. Let's check it out. Two nominated games. All right. Mm. Sharks. Oh, <laughs> sinister. <laughs> Dave the Diver. Switching steam. All right. I can't believe it. It's almost time for our big show. The theater is filling up behind me. It's hard to hear myself think over all the excitement, but I have to keep it together because I have the next award ready to go. Here are your nominees for content creator of the year. Oh, okay. Iron Mouse, People Make Games, Quackity, Spreen, and Cypher PK. Who is it? And the game award goes to Iron, Iron Mouse. Yeah. So, Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated, and sadly, we're not. It's a V. She's a VTuber, yet, yeah. She did yeah. send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. I am. I am so incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest Yeah, congratulations to you and your simps. The community that has gathered around my stream. <laughs> and I also want to extend a very special thanks to Vishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much to my team that helps me every single day. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe this is all happening. Thank you again, everybody. Congratulations, Iron Mouse. Okay, we're getting so close to the big show, but I'm not ready to let go just yet. And no, I'm not a narcissist. Two minutes. I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world premieres. And up next is a very special world premiere, 15 years in the making. 15 years? Huh? Who are these kids? They never made another one. Is that wait, world of goo? Is it? Yeah, it is world of goo. It's world of goo two. Two two D boy. Oh, right, present. This is World of Goo. Hmm. It's been 15 years. After all this time, I still look stunning. Chapter two. Look through the binoculars. World of Goo two. There it is. Twenty twenty four. as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. All we right. One more huge world premiere, a brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And tonight they're giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. All right. And it's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. Much like oh. the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. Ah. 
spotless. All right. The fool of a king is dead. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? The fortress at the border was raised by a human near days ago. You can only blame your king's weakness. Who deserves the oh. crown? A man of proven strength. The people of my land desire a new king, and I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne. Small wonder when they all want to be the king. The king. Their speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing when every day they cheat and abuse us. It tells of a world united as one tribe. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. Our lives are decided at birth by tribal purity or by the differences that make us who we are. There was a plot in his life. Would I wish I'd written it out sooner? You're no ray of hope. You gave up on your hopes, but I will not. Now let's see what matter of story you'll weave. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Metaphor. All right. Okay, my friends, that is it for our opening act. Bye, we are Sydney. Very far from done. Our big show is Bye, about Sydney. to begin, but don't because... worry, this isn't the last you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby, and I cannot right. wait because this show is absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. Yeah, I'm I can't wait for the shocked. Muppets, dude. Get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. Okay, thank you all for going on this journey with me. You're the best companions a host could ask for. Let's do the boss level. The 2023 Game Awards starts now. All right. Show me the Keely. Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. Now, here's... Your host, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Oh, there's everyone, even a, uh, Amanuma, you know, Breath of the Game Wild Awards. guy. Welcome yep. to the Game Awards. Yeah. Tonight is our 10th TGA. A global celebration. Ten years of the Game boy, Awards. Do we have a show for And my you. first one was so to 2019. To this started. Together we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023. And we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on. There's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Great games comfort us, help us understand different perspectives on the world, and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play, are insanely special, and we're gonna celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built by talented creators and teams. And many of them are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great to see you back after yep. winning Game of the Year in 2017. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. Good luck tonight. For Tears of the Kingdom, yeah. One of our industry's yeah. greatest creative and technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead system architect, celebrating 25 years of Cerny Games. Oh, it's the future game of gaming guy that made me fall asleep. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Oh, Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower? <laughs> Everyone's here. Melina, Smash Bros. Is our best performance Just kidding, that's over. 2017 for Hellblade. Ooh. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. And we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year and the Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. Now, we have 
a big show. So let's get right into it. Oh to boy. Tonight's first award is last year's winner of best performance. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards. Yep, we're going to do it. The actor behind Kratos in God of War, Christopher, Christopher Judge. Judge. <laughs> Can't wait for him to talk a lot. My boy, my boy got to talk a lot. Are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take your time, buddy? What a card! Good evening, everybody. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna drag on! Mother... <laughs> alright, alright, I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna stand up here making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. No eight-minute speech like last year. But fun fact... Uh-huh. My speech was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Ah! <laughs> Is that I, Justine? Just kidding. Um, maybe I don't know. Uh, Probably. Uh, company I'll never work for. Nah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here to present the award for best performance in a year of games, beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. These actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Best performance. Revenge is a weapon. It's been a long five years. Hope may feel beyond our grasp. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. these pages, Mr. Wake. Wake has a double. My name's Astarian. They won't ever control me again. Ready for your annual physical? We have to talk. I'm the hero here. All right. Whoever wins. Jeff oh, giving me the okay Alba did not make it. Take as long as you want to. Uh, Thank uh, everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. And I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record, seven minutes, 59 seconds. And the award goes to... Neil Nubar. Unreal. Uh, uh, of course, uh, of course it's Baldur's Sorry. Gate, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so very, very much for everybody that voted. Like, my incredible uh, fellow actors and the nominees, unbelievable talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian. Uh, to, I'm gonna forget everybody. Uh, yeah. To uh, Pit Stop, who worked so hard. The Don't take too long, actors, buddy. 248 incredible actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, to me, Familia. Gracias. Para todos. Gracias. Let's go. I went to yeah. check to see if there's and anything big from to my the opening agents, act. And and nothing sorry, really I'm gonna interesting wrap it up to me, there. aside from One thing Mario Wonder Woman, Best please, Family that's Game, okay. and the community uh, Persona 3 Reload. to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen 
And they were represented by this game when they lost hope. They felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through. Oh, yeah, to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. Appreciate it. You're not alone in this, none of us are. Thank you. All right, they're both going in the back. All right. Congratulations, Neil. Great speech. Also, short, so thank you. looking at the uh, background, he has more, more security. Come, but now it's time to look ahead mm. to what you'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. And for the honor of presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill to introduce a true Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times bestselling author, Matthew McConaughey. Huh? Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here with you at the Game Award. Now, I was going to come out and I was going to say the line that has preceded me on my career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. I said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Come out and say, pew, pew, pew. All right, we'll see how that, how that, how that ends. I'm here tonight because I have a world premiere for you from Austin's own Archetype Entertainment. I'm also here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Yay. When the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. Hmm. In this game, Time moves differently. Mm. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for generations to come. And personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. So you got to make some good choices. And now you can too. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. Exodus. What in the fuck is Exodus? Max, we need to head back. Hold on, I'm getting a reading. Oh. Max! Wait! Max! What she found that day was a miracle. Miracle. It would be our salvation to fight against the Celestials, humanity's greatest enemy. Whoa. What the hell? They found us. Celestials hunted us down. I knew they'd keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. I led them away from this world. Oh. Away from her. What are you doing? The cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me. But an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. No, come with me! Why? Please! Tom! <laughs> I love you. Mm. Mm. Our service, our sacrifice, discovers worlds. Seeds hope, breaks empires. We are the travelers. Exodus. This is pre alpha. Hmm. Be 
become the traveler. That is a very exciting project, giving me some Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate the team sharing the first glimpse of gameplay uh, at the end there. Looks great. All right, well, now we're going to go right on to another world premiere. All right. Oh, PlayStation Studios. A throne? What possibly could this be? Kratos! Oh, God of War! You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Master thyself. Whoa, Kratos. Why exactly are we doing this? Is this like Rag is this gonna be like Ragnarok DLC or something? Ooh! I must face this. Ooh! No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again. Damn. Get Kratos! Yeah, Kratos, get him! God of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla. Yeah, it is DLC. December 12th of this year. Free DLC. Oh, it's free DLC. PlayStation. Oh my god, who these Summit Frontiers? There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla, as a gift to the community, and you will be able to download it in just five days on December 12th. Amazing. Crazy. All five right, days. Switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. I love that this show oh, the a platform to independent creators. The Aussie, the Aussie. Their last game in 2019 was a sensation, and their next project is equally exciting and unexpected. A title goes game! All right, what's this game gonna be? Oh, okay. A new video game for you and your friends. Oh boy. Ooh, huh? There they are. Oh. Where? Oh, I see them. What the hell are those things? They're like ducks. Let's go. Anyone down there? Big walk by house house. Go and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to TGASteamDeck.com right now. We're doing another Steam Deck giveaway. This time it's the brand new one terabyte Steam Deck OLED featuring an HDR OLED, <laughs> OLED. display. Enter now only during the live Steam show. Deck at really TGA stole Steam the Switch. 
for a chance to win one the of Switch title or whatever. All right, trust me, wow. we are just getting Steam started, Death guys. OLED. There are so many Switch OLED awards, wow. and musical performances ahead, including the old wait. gods of Asgard, the... Alan Wake. Too. The, Nint Deck the Nintendo just ninjas are gonna go amazing. crazy. We'll be right back. Can't wait to see the. Steam Deck Light. Prince of Persia. It's gonna be sick. I'm here to save a prince. Well, I can't wait to see the PlayStation 4 and Are you now? Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Take the lead, Sargon. You are to leave for Mount Karth at once. Bring him back. Bring back my son. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path before. Farah? You were right. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. There's nothing you can do to stop me. How am I still alive? Hmm. Mm. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. Are you courageous enough and clever enough to save your friend? Damn! I'll do whatever it takes. Fortnite Lego, Lego Fortnite. Yeah, it's already out. It's already yeah, yeah, out. it's all, it is already. I knew that they were gonna like, uh, yeah, show a trailer for it. Yeah, at the Game Awards. I took a quick peek at it. Oh my god. Everyone's gonna be leaving Minecraft for this new amazing experience. Yeah. I actually just got Epic the Epic Games launcher and I just downloaded Fortnite actually back, so uh so eventually I'm gonna start playing this. Oh nah, the legs oh. are doing the pretty that's that's just oh. oh yeah, just like uh Minecraft, yeah. <coughs> All the bad guys are coming out. Whoever wanted Lego Minecraft, uh, here's something a bit better. Peely. Lego Fortnite. The adventure is building. Please welcome a former Game Award winner for best performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgens. Hi. <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung.
This sounds like the ultimate meditation song. <laughs> I'm just gonna fall asleep to this damn music. <laughs> but in a good way, in a good way. I don't, it's not that I hate the song at all, it's just, it's like something my brain would just, just tingle to. It's, I thought, I feel like this song could work for God of War. Or is it a game? Alright, now they're showing a trailer. That was really good. This place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. I can feel them on my skin. Oh yeah, the song is even in the in the game. Get him. Just get him. What will I become? Hellblade 2, baby. Next year. Amazing new look at the gameplay and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award, please welcome a former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game, the creative director of NetherRealm Studios. It's Ed Boon! The 
best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for get best narrative here. got us all in get the over here. Their characters. And yes, sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Here are the nominees. For best, best narrative. narrative. In a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. Blackett blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Attention, all personnel. Cyberpunk. We have uninvited guests. No matter how bitter the Final Fantasy. I will press on. Spider-Man! Okay, it's either gonna be Final Fantasy or Spider-Man. And the award goes to Spider-Man 2! Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake, okay. Thank you so much. Um, Alan Wake 2, from the beginning, was a very story-focused project for us. I share this with the whole narrative team, the writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Sinica, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay, Simone, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors, Ansi, uh, Hannah, Rosie, Holly, uh, all the wonderful actors here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, mm -hmm. Ilka, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Matt and David, but the whole, whole cast, wonderful actors, and, and the song makers who made custom music, custom songs to extend the story. Here tonight, later, Poets of the Fallen, Old Gods of Asgard, Ho, uh, this road, every song maker coming through fright music mm -hmm. uh, for our chapter songs. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to push things further, to do something new, and it's always a risk. Spider-Man fans, I'm punching the wall. Embrace it and I'm understand it. it. Means so we much. Wanted. I'll treasure this always. Thank you. Dude, just let it out. Let your emotions out. Okay, I know. アーティストとして私たちは想像力を駆使して目に見えないものを見ることができます。私たちはオーダーです。私たちはアーティスト。私たちはどこにでも存在する。私たちは安心。You may have recognized that incredible creator who built her own independent studio in Tokyo, and she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show, just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're honored to have her back at the Game Awards. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Oh, wait. Hi, Kumi Nakamura. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited to be on this stage again. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen her like first, twice oh. before. Yeah. <laughs> first, I want to say okay. thank you to the Anshin artist. Miteru. <laughs> and you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> Your support changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a meme. Today, I am yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Introduce our first project, Kimberly. Kimberly. It's time we missed the Attack on Titan. The Damn. Unseen. Meet in it. Bye bye.
So many incredible projects tonight. Thank you, Akumi. Now, tonight, it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big, established franchises. And while we all love a big sequel, it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to brand new worlds, like what you just saw with Kamuri, mm -hmm. and like this project. Another project. Pro Private Division. Jeez. Mm. Moon Studio. Creator of Ori! No rest for the wicked. March 1st. That's no rest for the wicked in action RPG from Moon Studios. And more information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the <laughs> Wicked Inside Showcase. Tonight during the Game Awards, viewers in the US can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Legion Go gaming handhelds, a Windows 11 gaming PC in your hand. Head to TGALegion.com before the end of the show to enter for your chance to win. <sighs> Here's a look. Sometimes I go in action. I wish I was Canadian. I mean, the, in the American. I mean, sorry. I guess the buddy already are Canadian. Oh come on! Nintendo ninjas, Watch get them! Watch this, they're gonna release the a light fucking person soon. Really I, I know it. The thrill of exploring get their ass, Nintendo! <laughs> Nintendo the rush but of victory. Something. But there's still so much more to discover. Minecraft! choice you make is a chance to feel something new good luck have fun damn avatar Avatar, 
Frontiers of Pandora, available now. PlayStation. Right? PlayStation. Yeah, there it is, yeah. <laughs> Discord! Uh, this hits. Mm -hmm. Good day, Sot. You're just a wiffle waffle. You can't even aim when you go into battle. I am a baron. Sure. You are a border. I write decrees. You mix mortar. Fire on the. I got an anchor. You eat a horse bread because your mom's a baker. <laughs> Oh no! Cringe! We have been saying it all night, but it really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to talk about some of the biggest games, it's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets. That's right, the oh, Great right, Gonzo! Muppets! Oh, thank you, thank you! Hey, Gonzo! Hey, Jeff. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody! Hey, buddy, thanks hey. for uh, coming. I, Gonzo. It looks like you're the Gonzo. wearing what I wear. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Maybe. Nah. Well, I really, well, don't, I think... really don't think. So, Gonzo, so, Gonzo what, have what have you been, been playing? playing? Seriously, what, what have you been, been playing? playing? Ah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait what? a minute. Ah! You oh, got him. Everyone got me well played jeff yeah well thank you seriously though what have you been playing gonzo well lots and lots of tears of the kingdom yeah what an incredible game you know that one mission where you follow the cuckoo up a hill i lost track of how many days i spent doing that the objective is really you know just follow the chicken yeah gonzo's face. Gonzo's face. <laughs> that's right you do love your chicken so i guess that was your favorite part what did you think of the ending Oh, I never get past that Kuko mission. I keep restarting. Don't spoil it. There's time. some people that <laughs> haven't right, well, been Ganon yet. Also, sell, also sell that's messy. Oh, you're kidding? Actually, messy. Actually, you have the time. Hey, you guys got a minute? Also, I love <laughs> I'd like to Fiora. show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one central theme. Check this out. <laughs> oh, it's a chicken. You got the case board? Yeah, that's quite a conspiracy you've uncovered. I know, I know. You, probably you have the Minecraft chicken, you have Crash chicken. I can't appreciate video games beyond this one very specific interest. I mean, yeah, I think we're all thinking that. Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Zelda? You named it Zelda? <laughs> yes, let's do this IRL. <laughs> Come on. IRL? Unbelievable. All right, here are the nominees for best debut oh, I'm just indie game. Kukos. Best debut indie? All right. Best debut indie game. Cocoon. Oh, yeah! Pizza Tower! Come on, come on, come on. I feel as free as a cuckoo. Yeah! <laughs> All right, the great Gonzo. Thank you, Gonzo. Oh. Now the task at hand. The game award goes to... Pizza Tower! Cocoon! Oh! Damn. <sighs> and that was the only one Pizza Tower had. <sighs> What a shame. At least it got nominated, you know? Wow. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, the team from Geometric couldn't make it out tonight, uh, but they wanted us to pass along their thanks for everyone who played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. All right. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. All right. Later tonight, we'll announce 
the best mobile game of 2023, but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title with their Play More Award on Twitch. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. And now it's time for our next world premiere. All right, what's next? Yo, yo. Sonic! No. Wait, Sonic! Wait, but what kind of Sonic? It's Sonic time! Oh! Oh wait, this is Sonic Dream or whatever it's called. Did you save the game? Really? Really? Of course I did. The power went out. Oh no. Sega! Oh! Yeah, A new era. Oh, they're showing a lot of other games, yeah. New energy. And more. Now in development. What? Power the next level. Did it be Sega! Sega! Oh yeah! Now typically a world premiere reveals one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. All of those are First of the many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several years. Thanks to Sega for that. I'm still it's disappointed really about Pizza announced. Tower not getting anything. All right, well, this next trailer might be something oh Dragon Ball fans have been waiting oh, to hear about. DBZ. Here we go. This not for me, but I don't care. Oh boy. Crazy ass graphics. Oh. Yo. Actual yeah. gameplay and cutscenes. <laughs> Damn, Goku and Vegeta going in. Tremble before my Oh Frieza! I'll show you the horrors of hell. <laughs> oh! Break the heavens. Are you going to die? Sparking. Sparking Zero. Hmm? Huh? Supermassive games. Whatever's down there is too dangerous. The world of dead by daylight. Telling myself I won't go there. Oh, but I know that I won't care. Trying to watch your radio, the blood of spill. This loss is a burden that we both share. Two sinners can atone from a long breath. Souls tied in a twine by pride and guilt. Hmm. There's darkness in the distance from the way that I've been living. But I know I can't resist it. The tale of a thousand screams. <laughs> The cat. 
casting of Frank Stone. That's right, two huge names in the horror genre, Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games, are coming together for a brand new single player experience. Damn. The casting of Frank Stone. No, no, I, I'm gonna... now, tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't Those seen. Those two announcements woke time. us up like crazy. Huh? Wait, what's this? I saw just that real ice cream. Okay, wait. Hmm? Can I? Can we? Square Enix presents. Wait, is this? And the new Dragon Quest? And oh, it's a new it's a new Trials of Mana, okay, or a new ma a new Mana it's a new okay. like ma what? Mana game. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why do you have to be so freaking Zelda in? Because it's square. Visions of mana. Oh. Oh. It is said. Koei Tecmo. Marches to the beat of a drum. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. Without remorse. If the drum drives the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this together. Mm. How many mountains must you move? Oh, the river below. Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. As the smoke rises, so shall we. Ronin. Rise of the Ronin. Sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? That's Rise of the Ronin coming to PlayStation in 2024. And now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. All right, finally some awards. For best action game. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Dead Island I don't 2, know. Ghost Runner 2, I don't know the, Rush, I don't think I know any Red of these. 2. And the Game Award I'm goes I'm to I'm Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Alright, Armored Core. Congratulations from Art Direction. Nominees for best art direction. Mario or Zelda. Zelda. Hi-Fi Rush, Mario. Lies of P, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to... Two? Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake. Congrats, Remedy. Here are the nominees for best VR AR. Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon Either Gran Turismo or Resident Evil. Village VR mode and Snaps. 
and the game award goes to Resident, Resident Evil. Evil Village VR Mode. Oh. Congratulations to Capcom. Now your nominees for best mobile game. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Hello Marvel, Kitty win. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Oh, okay. Monster yeah. Hunter Now. And Terranel. <laughs> and the game award it goes, goes to... Honkai, Honkai Star Rail. Congratulations, Hoyoverse. All right, we have much more game awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. And some of our biggest game announcements are still to come. But right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees for best debut indie game, who is also part of the newly inducted future class presented by Old Spice. Power! <laughs> when the hell's Terry Crews when you need him? My name is Abhi. In India, when I grew up, I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at the age of 12, it was a whole new world for me. For many South Asian families, food is not just a thing to cook, but also a way of expressing affection and all the things that they cannot say. Memba is a narrative cooking game that tells the story of an Indian mother who moves to Canada in the late 1980s. It's a story about love, loss, and family. The more local you are, the more international you become. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. What up, man? Welcome in. Okay, now we sit down, very comfy. But the miracles of science give you purpose. Sometimes the finger of God reaches down and touches you. Men and women of any race, religion, class, oh god. All right, Ryan. On poised. Cuz this Kingdom of Stress. Okay, welcome back to the Game Awards. And are you ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight, I am so, so honored to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Oh, Kojima! The hungry purple dinosaur meets the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and has started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox the jabbering crab and the mad whale and started vending and quacking. Yeah. What the? Purple dinosaurs ate the kind singing of fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale 
and started rending and cracking. Girl, are you okay? Oh, jump scare. OD or something for all players and screamers. Oh, is Kojima making a horror game? Oh god. Where are we going? The back rooms? Oh. Please welcome the visionary game developer. Kojima! Mr. Hideo Kojima! Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. えっと、10回目となる記念すべきこのTGAで、え、ま、新作のゲーム、OD、え、発表できて非常に嬉しいです。え、このゲームには、え、ソフィア、リリスト、え、ハンターシェファーとウドッキアさんが出演されます。はい
And what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! The GOAT! <laughs> Two goats working together. Uh, Hadale, I want to ask you, how are you collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. あの、天才と評価されるかつ少ない well, Jordan is one of those genius, and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like <laughs> things. And they both had glasses. Both like and we're really happy, and yeah. we wanted to collaborate something. And, and this time, um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies, and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games, and he's a movie director now. So this two collaboration will be really awesome. So that's why I wanted to do something together with Jordan. Yes. あの、ま、このプロジェクトは、え、ジョーダンだけではなくて、ま、多くのクリエイティブサポーターとか、あの、ま、あの人たちと、え、ま、参加が予定されてます。それぞれの恐怖っていうのの焦点を当ててもらってストーリーテリングしてもらうと予定です。で、あのここではそのメンバーを紹介できませんけども、非常に豪華な夫人というか、巨匠たちの集まりなんで、僕はその彼らを集め
Oh boy. Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer Zed. Oh, Zed's here. Hello, everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is an often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. All right, let's see. Best audio design. Best audio design. Of course, Alan Wake. Dead Space. Hi-Fi Rush. Spider-Man. Resident Evil 4. What's gonna win? Who's gonna win? And the game award goes to... Hi-Fi Rush. All right. Uh, <laughs> Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And from myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. All right, let's turn to the world of Fortnite. If you haven't already, oh. check out the Game Awards Island in Fortnite. It's been updated with new trophies tonight to collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full-on platform with tons of new experiences beyond Battle Royale. Like Lego. Lego Fortnite launched, and on yep. Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Here's your first look. All right, let's see some rocket ri yeah. Oh my god. Rocket League! Or should I say, yeah, Rocket Racing, yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, Jonesy! Oh, the pinata! Watch out! Nice. Race without limits. The only real limit being the cards you have in Rocket League. Their minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades to time. Too want to be an immortal. 
portal. Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Hmm. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without teeth punishes not. It only foments evil. Lends the world with blood and grosses in it. That is your destiny. Damn. I, the keeper of the new west, welcome the destined one. The destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Oh, damn. Black Myth Wukong's Destiny. August twentieth. Batman, Green Lantern, oh. Flash, oh, your friends are slaughtering the people. Oh, the it's kill the Justice League. The Suicide Squad! My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. So that, yeah, that's why it's called Kill the Justice League, because you actually seriously gotta kill the good guys. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. Get him, Harley! He's the fastest man alive! According to all these girlfriends. Damn. What's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. Justice is coming. Superman. That was Suicide Squad, and joining me now are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. <laughs> Uh, As the Canada Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch, but I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been ten years for Warframe, so you know, ten years for you. We assume we get a seniors discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we keeps going strong. I know it's because our community is so awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release date for our next major update for Warframe. So we do have a trailer for you know Warframe players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been an incredible ride, 10 years of just our incredible developers, our community just supporting us along the way. So if you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back mm. too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys, let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you, but now, you have changed everything. The Lidless Eye has seen you. 
Oh god! What is that thing? It is waiting. Don't be late. Warframe. more game awards ahead you thought the surprises were done nope there's lots coming but while you're here all right supergameawards.com through december 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new super nintendo world at universal studios hollywood here's a look yeah Whoa. yep finally something i'm actually want to see Mario! Let's go! Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Brought to life like never before. Damn. I really want to go there one, one day. Super Nintendo World. When, open, Universal Studios I, Hollywood. When, when Orlando gets it, I'm going to go there. If I can. Oh, yeah, Starfield, okay. Nice message. I don't think Starfield got any awards. Life to the living, death to the dead. We have sworn to protect the living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate and the invisible separate mm. to bring peace on Eren's souls. Once their grip on this world is broken. Damn. The bodies are falling. The, the bodies are falling! To the dead. Life, Life to, to the living. Death to the dead. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Honoring my oath, or sacrificing the living to bring me back. I'm not sure I can do this. Honor your oath, or bring me back. What the hell is that thing? But don't leave me like this. Damn. Huh? 
What? So, are you ready? Ready or not. What's next? Age of Empires, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. Bonsoir, everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important categories at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Hmm. Legend says a traveler will reunite the peoples. What's the theme? Using this year to um, make all oh, that game. Imagine, imagine if that dinosaur anime game wins. And the game award goes to. What is it? Chia! Thank you! Big job for Chia! I award on behalf of uh, mm -hmm. Zero Power Sev, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crippo, co-founder of Power Sev. I'd like to thank our self family for your trust and unbelievable talent. Kepler and Sony for believing in this crazy project. And the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But, 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 that is not why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, now this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like, <laughs> Reggie! <laughs> Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man, from Kingdom Hearts, Gary's Mod. Hey, Kingdom Hearts! Golden my Sun. My body is Reggie! And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. Mm -hmm. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game. A, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. <sighs> so...
So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. Now I'm gonna offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. Every story begins at the end of another. E.A.S. Each story carries with it the echoes of those Just that came before. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. My name is Sao, my brother. a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. Damn. Sexy as fuck. Damn, bro. You know what? In the future, this team will have an award. Yeah, definitely. It looks nice. Look at Wrap. I cannot stop. I will not stop. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Oh no. Show me you are ready. Tales of Ken Zira Zio. Oh, it's gonna be on Switch too. Wait, huh? PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC. Yeah. The careers of life are strange. Life is just four! July of 95. I know. That's how they make Max is coming back. Oh, Chloe. That. It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because lost records bloom and rage. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have a world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entire you know what? I wish in Max has a cameo shows in that off game. the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Berserker. The first Berserker, yeah. found you, trampled by the one you trusted, abandoned from your king. You thought you were a hero. Damn. Now, you are just one of us. Ooh. Ordinary ghost, you have to risk your life. Damn. Kazan. Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. Oh. This one, though, is a little bit of a twist. They're about to play music from an upcoming game 
that no one has heard yet. Oh. One of those world premieres, and this is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra, led by Lauren Balfe, with lead vocals from Lauren Allred, debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII, Rebirth. Oh, Rebirth. Enjoy. Oh, look at Cloud. Oh, Sephiroth. Oh, baby girl Tifa. And Yuffie's here too. Yep, rebirth. February 29th! Damn vocals. Damn. Absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. Oh! What we've done, that's set in stone. Or so they'll tell you, Deity. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Mm -hmm. Strap in, Newty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, man. Apex Legends and Final Fantasy Rebirth. So, oh, Apex. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January 9th. And that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura san himself. Oh, Nomura so drew the art. Announcement. Now it's time to announce the winners of a few more awards as selected All right, fans finally. and voting jury. In the category of best score and music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Hi-Fi Rush, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the game award goes to Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 16. All right, Final Fantasy got one. Congratulations. Here are the nominees for best independent game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. 
And the game award goes to... Let's see it. Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for best community support. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No... Sky and the game award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Congratulations. All right, Larry. Baldur's Gate. All right. Nominees for best fighting game. Those oh. are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2, Pocket Bravery, and Street Fighter 6. All right. Game award this year goes to Street, Street Fighter 6. 6. Congrats, Capcom. All right. Most anticipated game. Your nominees are Rebirth, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, or Tekken. Hades I'm thinking Final II, Fantasy. Like a Dragon, Infinite Well, Star Wars Outlaws, Tekken. and Tekken 8. Final Fantasy! And the game award this year goes to Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Re Rebirth. Rebirth. Oh my god, Nick. I think some of the fans are crying. Right. Well, it's been eight no months win. since the release of Honkai Star Rail, a winner tonight for best mobile game. This space fantasy RPG filled with myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penacone, the next destination. Do you still remember it? Fables about the stars. Its stories tell of what is and what was. Its pages will always reveal something new. <laughs> Those are unforgettable memories, but they are only a beginning. Hmm. Okay, Star Rail. Welcome to Penacone, young lady. May I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic. Monster Games Hunter Capcom. Now. Like all Niantic's games, Monster Hunter Now is played in the real mm, world, and tonight they have What's a the special in-game event going on right now with new monsters, new weapons, that. and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available now for iPhone and Android, so check it out, Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. All right. Oh. I'm just going to... Good, good old zombie grind. That's good at that.
and that mm -hmm. was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Bethesda. Yay. Deathloop. Are we in France or something? I think so. Oh, yeah, it says Lyon. Oh, never mind. I hear English. <laughs> uh, it's definitely New York. Turn that shit up. Marvel Blade. There you go. Blade. Joining me now are Tinka Bakava from Arcane Leon also, his and Bill Rustin from Marvel to tell us like how did this come the, together, the, the guys? Well, Jeff, let me tell you the secret superpower of Marvel games is our have his own game and movie. together world class talent with the fan favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane Leon. Not only because of the story-rich games they create with innovative gameplay, but because of mm -hmm. their authentic passion. And that's why on Blade's 50th anniversary, we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first mm -hmm. order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. I mean, mm -hmm. the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. And I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. Mm. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dinga, why this character? Mm. Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> well, if... <laughs> <laughs> if my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down. Ça serait un petit peu la merde quand même. Nah. Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third person action adventure. Third person, in okay. The heart of Paris. So please sit back. Let us cook. Let him, let him cook. cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> Jesse, Sponge we need to, Dinga we Bill, need to thank cook. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. All right, awesome. Thanks, Digga. All right. Now, please Jesse, welcome the star of Twisted no, Metal, a nominee tonight for Best Arby. Adaptation, Anthony Mackie. Uh, 
Adaptation. Oh my god, yeah, it's Falco. Thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody gave Or should up. I say the new Captain America did. as well? Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I have one thing to do before I get on to the award I'm supposed to represent up here. Okay? Okay, all right. I know I say a lot of different things. You can't scream them all. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet. So you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. Uh -huh. So, so, everybody get your motor revving because you're going on another ride with John Doe. You look great. You guys see this section right here? You guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust nah. this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. Nah. Return of Samoa Joe. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> nah. okay, stop it, you. Okay. Love you, too. I see you. I see you. Mm. Shut up. Okay. Nah, shut Today, up. <laughs> the best games are like living universes, constantly expanding with new content and challenges. Okay. Right? Today, Nathan, that's start what this talking. Award for the best ongoing like game universe. recognizes Jeez. the games that continue to deliver fresh challenges. experiences for their loyal communities. Here are the nominees. All right, here we go. Best ongoing game. Ongoing game, okay. I thought it was adaptation. I guess adaptation will be later. Let me put it this way. No gun, no fun. The hour is come, free try. Fortnite. Let the magic begin. And Genshin. Okay, I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so what? the game award goes to shut up, ah. shut up, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, Cyberpunk, okay. That's the this is heavy, dude. At least it's not fucking dense shit. Or for, I mean, eh, Fortnite is redeeming itself for like a little bit oh this goodness. year. What a journey. What a journey it's been. Holy. Video games are awesome. Ah. This is an incredible moment. From launch to 1.5 to 2.0 Phantom Liberty, and uh, now the Ultimate Edition. Like, yeah. the tenacity and the resilience of the team. And just wanting to bring. I remember the original game when impact. it was so glitchy and buggy. Worlds that are immersive, you know, yeah. being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun. We can't get laid in that game. What is hell? <laughs> I, this is exciting, team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it. The two of us here, please, Sasuke, including this guy here, please say something. <laughs> and I mean, I I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes videos, you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit. It was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players. Thank you for calling it Twitter and not X. Getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA V, Bully, Need for Speed Underground, and the Red Dead Redemption series. Uh, now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself, and a remarkable team of over 200 
talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. Tonight, we're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek at what we've been working on. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future. In the future. But for now, I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing. Let's take a look, Steve. Here we go. Turn it open. Mom was a robot, that's crazy. That's crazy. I f okay, I, for some reason I thought that it said last genital for some reason. Why Why the fuck did I uh, think it said that? <sighs> Lift your head. Now open your eyes, slowly. First Ascendant. That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I have my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom, and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement right here at TGA. Damn. <laughs> Imagine a Dr. Livesley uh, walk like that with the music.
Damn. Music's pretty, uh, bang- bangers. Yeah, music- the music's a banger, man. Coming soon in 2024, okay. I'm not done yet. They call the children of the Providence. Be the answer and rebuild the broken order. All right. Damn. Mecha break. We brought in gamers to demo the latest cyberpunk update, but we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> what do you think's powering your gaming? Like a 4090? 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on GeForce Now. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. A Chromebook? I guess that. I might have to look into getting a new Chromebook. Which Chromebook Plus. Up, oh, place in studios. The war is turning against us. As we battle against the bugs, the automaton threat grows more menacing by the day. We need valiant soldiers to take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. What in the Starship Troopers? Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad worth dying for. Okay, we have uh, 55 minutes until it's over. Join the fight for freedom and list today. So yeah, less than an hour. Hell Divers 2. Okay. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Space Marine 2, Warhammer, 4K, 40K. All right. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer, Alan Wake. This is... Herald of Darkness. Here are the ads guards.
Okay, this is actually pretty good so far. Shred it! Bop, 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 bop. Yeah! Oh my god, it's so fucking epic. Also, did I mention that some people are doing blackface? Yes. I know where they are. I know where, are. I know where y'all live. I'm low, I'm no dead motherfuckers here. I'm gonna cap that bitch as with my ammo 5. Wow, that was the fabulous Poets of the Fall performing in the role of Old Gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remy, Epic, epic. The Cash, and everyone involved in bringing that performance to life. I actually was looking at the live chat. Someone did mention that they were doing blackface. Now it's time for an update on the game we announced back at TGA in 2017. Those needs to be fucking canceled. It's a joke, though. It's a joke. Maybe it's just for, like, the whole, uh, thing. Oh, shit. Same story. For the whole uh, musical thing, yeah. You know, a, a, a fucking a rock family of song for a horrific Resident Evil look. A strange oh, family. We have lived a thousand lives. We have died a thousand times. Okay, I need something to eat because I've been here for like two hours. We were three. before this. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get. A, I'll get a snack once the uh, once it's one. like eleven or something. Until the end. So fast the final okay. battle. I almost wrapped that like get the fuck out. Chambers, crazy that was six years ago. We announced uh, like, GTFO. The, like, and that's the, the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on and Steam. Run. Looks fantastic. But I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah. First of all, I have to say thank you for thank you for having me again. Mm -hmm. Of course. And uh, you delicious menu. <laughs> this suit mm -hmm. is fucking amazing. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You look good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a steam deck. Anyway, you know, I tried to steam deck. Uh, yeah, it was we're so working cool. on something new, like, and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And this you were known for payday, things like that. So you're back, yes. back some heist stuff. I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're back to doing a heist game again, and it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Huh? And yeah, it's you know. It is what it is. To the world? Yes, we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so excited. It's finally yeah. time. Thank you. Check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Here we go. Mr. Bowman, your reservation at Manon Aphis is in Cancel order. the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuro prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually looking at uh, Twitter um, about the whole blackface thing. <laughs> Twitter's mad. <laughs> you mother <laughs> starts glitching. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Yes! The key <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who. You see, just like me, you caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. Damn. Den of Wolves? So born master of apocalypse. <laughs> that was Exo born. I met with the team at Gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter. And the project is led by some of the creators of the division. And besides facing other players and warring factions, vertical gameplay, as you saw in the forces of nature, unlocked the potential of the players exo rigs to help master the apocalypse, as they say. Much more is coming in 2024 on Exo born. Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer's here. Hey there. Uh, I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working with the Sanzaru team and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And, uh, I think, yeah, Matt Mercer is also the guy that the voices gamer, Dan I'm Ganon in uh, honestly blown away. Tears of the Kingdom so, uh, as well. I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Sanzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So, without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Adsgard's Wrath 
two. The gods take everything from mortals. Bleed these lands dry. Thy spirits, their rightful passage. Turn worlds to ash. Damn. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Now his chaos reigns. <laughs> the universe demands a guardian. And with each possession. will grow stronger. Ooh. Oh. Off with your head! Here to right your wrongs. Yeah. Alrighty. Just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> Damn. It's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. Oh. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Up. Oh. oh. The Fallout series. Hello there. Now, how about we turn on some lights? Whoa. Jesus. Well, you know what they say. War never changes. Amazon Prime. The, sa the same place where uh, I gotta go watch Has Been Hotel. Welcome, Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. I just want to talk. What's up, y'all? Uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for best adaptation. Oh! Hmm? Says our bosses are here. What? What? <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh! oh. Hey. Tom. Todd. Oh, no, it's Mr. Howard. Todd Howard. Good patch, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Mario, come on! Best Adaptation. A vampire messiah will come. Unfortunately, FNAF did not make it. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. Last of Us. Show me Mario! Yeah! No problem. Woohoo! The world fell, but that's where the cars and guns come in. Come on, Mario. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, the best game 
goes to The Last of Us. Last of Us, all right. <sighs> Mario definitely got robbed. Mm. All right. Uh, okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Canada, getting ready for season two. Uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot of uh, big thanks to our Last of Us community. None of this exists without you. Thank you so much. And, uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much. Thank you. What game is this? Oh yeah, that definitely looks like a Switch version. K-pop. Monster Hunter now. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of that anxiety and put it into making games. I mean, it's evolved over time, <clears throat> especially as I've gotten into AAA. Well, guess what, everybody? Oh. Hindsight is a narrative exploration game which spans the life of a woman named Mary, is taking a core of something that happened in my life, keeping that and fictionalizing the rest of it. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel Yes, I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making people feel things. Damn. This is like an evolution of No Man's Sky or something.
right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Mm -hmm. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And I still really love That's it. That's crazy. I really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Uh, oh, another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but <laughs> mountains that are miles high taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, you can see oceans. So it's just like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open mm. world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or... <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're, actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're... S uh, we're very excited <laughs> to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if you know, people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> we'll be 2033. Back. So, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project, and I'm honored that we could show Oh my up. god, the next Should 10 years? Yeah, it's going to be it. crazy. Go. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> All right. One more half hour, hopefully. That's a massive hummingbird. Nice. Pretty sure you get to control that gi giant ass dragon. Oh, what the fuck, rabbits? All right. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to you. And uh, again, created by the team at Hello Games. So uh, very, very exciting. And I'm excited to uh, see games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going to and hopefully TGA too. All right.
Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. All right. Oh. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? Oh, poor thing. My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so, so beautiful. Um, all right, first off, oh. I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. Oh. I wish I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless right. you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of well, aging don't apply. Well, you're Shang-Chi. Guys, just, if you're not Anthony Mackie, learn to appreciate the importance of stretching, all right? It's very important. Um, Keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Starcraft. Yes. So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet at any point over the past ten years, that was definitely your boy, uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat. I understand, all right, but I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, mm -hmm. yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. That was me. Hmm. <laughs> See? Pretty good. Oh, right? that, that was his voice? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. All right. Best Action Adventure Game. You are the killer. I don't want to be in the story. Just write me out of the story. It's my fault. This is something else. Spider-Man. Off of him. We can fight this together. Your soul. Resident Evil. The Jedi Survivor. This unworthy machine of an empire. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. Come on, Zelda. And the game award goes to. What is it? No surprise here. Legend of Zelda: Tears <laughs> of the King. Yeah! Finally, finally they get an award. Well deserved. Eh, Konogemo's good, the Sibetero staff will die. 
このような賞をいただき本当にありがとうございます。I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this, reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. <laughs> everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. プレイヤーの皆さんそれぞれのユニークなゲームプレイが皆さん独自のハイラルの物語となりますプレイヤーの皆さん本当にありがとうございます Everyone's unique approach to playing this game、uh, can become their own personal story、uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule and to all the players you have my sincere thanks Thank you so much What a legend What a legend Congratulations, Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG Baldur's Gate 3, All right. Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and Starfield. And the Game Award goes to、Two. Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate, all right. Here are the nominees for Best Sim Strategy Game Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage, and Pikmin 4. And the Game Award goes to Pikmin 4. Hey! Here are the nominees for Best Sports Racing Game EA Sports FC 24, F1 23, Forza Motorsport, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbo Charge, and the Crew Motor Fest. And this year, the Game Award goes to Forza Motorsport. Forza. Congratulations, Turn 10. The nominees for best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3,、oh. Diablo 4, Party, Party Animals. Animals, Street Fighter 6, Mario, and Super please. Mario Brothers Wonder. Mario. And the Game Award goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our Player's Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Genshin Impact, Watch it be Genshin Spider Man 2, twice in a row. and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And the Game Award goes to Genshin. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, thank you for not doing Genshin. Congratulations, Lariat. Let's take a look now at this spectacular s h o w of mobile gaming、Genshin. on Sphere from Google and Samsung. c o s a c l e n s e Hey. Hmm? Oh. Hey, yo, where are they going? Oh. The wizard. Hey! And the goblins and the giants! Oh my god! More room to play! Guilty Gear Strive! Oh! Alright, this is a new character. Yeah, I heard that they were making. getting a new character for, Gu for Guilty Gear.
All right. Jam session も悪くないわね。うざって。軽視できないな。頑張ろう。そうしよう。そろそろ始めていいか。Oh, stress city four. Nicotine addiction can make stress worse. Another dinosaur game. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy Chalamet will be here to help, and we have some more world premieres, including this one. All right, PlayStation. Oh, Square Enix. So much comes to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Final Fantasy 16. Rising tide. Definitely has to be some sort of like DLC or something. I was on the fall in the rising tide. Yeah, it's DLC. PlayStation. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Now to present our next award, Best Game Direction, please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right?、Uh, today, it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression,、mm -hmm. that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for best game direction. All right. Best game direction. All right. Of course, Alan Wake. That lives in your head. Baldur's Gate. We must survive. All Miles talks about is how to be better. Spider-Man. How to help you. Mario. Mario, let's go. And the winner is huh?、Oh, Alan Wake Two. I knew it was not going to be like <laughs> nice nominations for Nint the Nintendo, but、uh, I already knew it was going to be、uh, <laughs> not a Nintendo game for this nomination or 
The winner, I mean. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank Epic, Hector, Nico for believing in our vision. Uh, Crazy vision. <laughs> Crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles. We can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. Uh, one other thing, uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is gonna be coming out. New story content, cool. uh, so yeah, go play it, thanks. Cool. Thank you, thank you Game Awards. Oh boy, 11 minutes, and then I can finally go to sleep or something, or upload this, I mean. Please welcome. Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of The Finals. The Finals? When we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career. You're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Mm. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. Thank you, and enjoy. Is there quite huh? Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, they're at an arcade. That's why they said insert coin. Season one is this month, all right. That's right, the finals is out tonight on Steam, oh, tonight. Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. After the show, make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite user-created island of the year, and the winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map, while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. 
I want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. Yeah, the, the Peter Griffin skins. Still to come, the presentation of Game oh, of I'm the glad Year. they mentioned Featuring Peter Griffin. Orchestral salute to the nominees. Damn. We're just getting started. Zero build, find it in Fortnite. Damn, there's gonna be multiple of these find it in Fortnite things. That's crazy. Oh, seven more minutes, all right. <laughs> Wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. All uh. night you've been voting on Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on Twitch, where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. And this one, I will let speak for itself. Speak for itself? Oh, it's a dinosaur game. It's a dinosaur game. Follow our world premiere and then, uh... What the hell? Oh, jeez. All those... Things are getting destroyed. Oh no. Oh jeez. Hmm. Oh, it's, is it Monster Hunter? I just realized. Monster Hunter Wilds. Yeah, it's a brand new Monster Hunter. Wow. Crazy. Is that Rathalos in the background? Oh, same year as GTA. Oh my god. Jesus. Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game and wow, I gotta tell you guys, it looks incredible. <laughs> Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? Yes, <laughs> え、こちらですね、え、9月にZeusさんにも見ていただきましたタイトルなんですが、え、現状ですね、え、2025年リリースを目指して開発しています。Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to announce this title to everyone. Uh, hmm. this title back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you as planned for release in 2025. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? Hi, uh, the title is the title of 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 
、えー、これからもですね、えー、皆様に楽しんでいただけるいいゲームを、えー、作っていけるよう努力して、えー、頑張ってまいりますので、えー、これからも引き続きぜひよろしくお願いいたします。We plan on revealing more information about this game in、uh, the summer of 2024. So we hope you keep an eye also, out. Also, summer 2024, we're going to get new info. We're celebrating its 40th anniversary.、Oh, no. I would like to thank all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these years. We couldn't have done it without you. Capcom will continue to create exciting, fun games,、uh, and the best is yet to come. Excellent. All right. And that was our last、nice、world premiere.、Right. So. Well, now to present Game of the Year from the upcoming films Wonka and Dune Part 2, please、oh. welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. Modded Controller 360. Oh, it's Mr. Wonka himself. The、uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the Game of the Year were truly inspiring. Here with a medley celebrating each of these games once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards All、right. Orchestra. All right. Game of the year time, baby. So, first, Alan Wake, okay. There's Flute Guy! Let's go! Baldur's Gate 3. Of course, we get to see him.、Mm. I'm glad that Flute Guy is there. I fucking love that man so much. Oh, magical kiss. I didn't see that. Hmm. Mario Undead! Hey! <laughs> Hey, flute guy! Resident Evil 4. Alright, I think we have two more games. I think so. Yeah. Yep, Tears of the Kingdom! Da da. Oh, Fluke Guy, sing it, or play it, I mean. Wait, did I just see that? Of course, Spider Man. Hey, Fluke Guy! Bro, stealing the show! Oh my god, dude. Of I mean, of course, yeah, Spider Man was the last one. Let's fucking go, Fluke Guy. All right, Wonka. You may reveal the awards. All right. Yeah, take your bow. <sighs> What's gonna win? And the game of the year is. 
Baldur's Gate or Spider-Man or whatever. Baldur's Gate 3. Yep. I knew it. Damn. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it anymore. All right, um, where's Bill Clinton, thank kid? Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent <laughs> their hearts and souls where's for the years. Uh, where's Matt 10 even? Sometimes I need Bill Clinton, kid. Where is he? Game. Um, oh, they're crying. The way, we, we lost quite a few people also, so we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. Last month, um, oh my god. I want to thank Damn. over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners, uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <sighs> congratulations, Spanik. Congratulations to yeah. all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12, 2024. Happy holidays. Good night. Bye, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I knew Baldur's Gate was going to win. Oh, I'm not even impressed President then. <laughs> Bill Clinton kid did not show up. Damn. Mar <laughs> Pizza Tower did not get that reward. Or that award. Mario Wonder only won Family Game. And, uh, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom only got, uh... Mm, action Adventure. I'm sorry, that was a mid... Game Awards. I'm gonna say that right there. That was a mid-game oh, awards. I'm Very... going to kill a fucking dragon right now. Yeah, lots of games got robbed. Where's and... my fucking cock? Where was Nintendo, man? Besides getting the awards, where was... Nintendo didn't give a shit about the awards. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait until February until the next direct, man. Yeah. I love Virgo. Spider-Man fans mad. <laughs> they should be. Jesus Christ, man! It, it, some of the comments are uh, saying like mid-show, like, Ugh, where was Nintendo, man? All right. Super Sega. The only good thing was just a real coming back and freaking uh, wait, what's that? What was that next one? Dragon Ball. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Where the fuck did- <laughs> Yeah, Zelda got robbed. I mean, Mar Mar I already knew Mario was gonna get like one award there, but... Cause I know- <laughs> Got what the it's fuck kind of happened? Oh my... What the actual hell just happened? What the fuck was this Game Awards, man? You know, fuck gay off, Keely. You can suck my damn dick when he likes it. Jesus Christ, man. Well, that happened. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. You know what's better than the awards? A glitch X. Yeah, that was yeah, so glitch much better. better. Absolutely disappointed. Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy it. I swear.